I wanted to take just a couple minutes to walk you guys through this uh, top flight precision balancer, prop balancer for your setup. I had a, I previously had a just traditional balancer that, that did an okay job, but I, as recommended by a lot of you guys, that this is one of the better prop balancers out there. And if you'll notice that uh, the, the rod actually is suspended by two magnets, so it minimizes friction. And if you've been following my videos, you'll notice that I've been on the quest to just get rid of as much vibration as I can. It causes, wreaks all sorts of havoc when it comes to your multi-rotor setup. Wanted to take a couple minutes of showing the build, and then uh, we'll put a prop on there and just take a quick look at how it does. Let me also point out, I got this from Amazon for about $20 and $3 shipping, so it's really kind of a no-brainer, the amount of uh, return you can get on that $23 investment. So parts included are just the side plates, the magnets that go in, and the base rods and the actual prop rod that gets suspended between the two magnets. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your two magnets out and make sure that you put the sides that attract facing up. And you want to be careful. You don't want those guys slamming together too hard. And I'm going to keep them far enough apart because these really have a lot of um, force. Okay, so next up we're going to clean each attracting face of these magnets and glue on these clear plastic covers. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use a little bit of just standard rubbing alcohol and clear, you know, there's going to be some magnetic particles and so on. And the manual actually suggests, you know, there's two different approaches you can take. Uh, this is kind of the recommended approach of cleaning each magnet and gluing the clear plastic disc on the face. The other way is you can actually sand uh, the face of the magnet down and then put a polishing compound on top of it. But this is definitely, I think, the easier way to go. So I'll clean the plastic discs before we glue them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue on our disc. Now it's recommended to use like CA glue, like medium, maybe medium thickness. This is just some uh, general purpose super glue that I have, so hopefully that should do the trick. Get it nice and flush and then we'll let it dry. Go ahead and do the other one. And we want to just have these on each face of the magnet so that you know you kind of have a nice smooth surface for our rod to sit up against. Okay, after you've given your glue time to cure, we're going to go ahead and put each magnet in its place. Once again, these are the attracting side of the magnets. There are two thumb or set screws that come with the setup, so we'll go ahead and put those in place. You want to screw that in there and not get it too tight, just so that it holds the magnet nice and snug and doesn't break the plastic. Now that we have our set screws in place, go ahead and put our base rods in the side plate. Okay, our base rods are in place with two side plates, nice and snugly fit. And we're going to take the main rod, and these are actually the propeller cones, and we'll put both of them on. Okay, now for the fun part. Got the rod, and I'm just going to kind of, this is actually laying down, so it'll be easy to demonstrate. You can see that kind of snaps into place. And you can see that on this end, we got direct contact, you know, nice spin, frictionless spin right there. And then on this end, there's actually, you know, it's just the magnetic force pulling that. And what we can actually do is loosen our thumb screw and pull that magnet out a little bit. You can see how it just slid out on its own. That force is pulling it. I'm going to put a little bit of space in there like that and I'll go ahead and tighten the screw. 
and you can see it's touching on that side and a little bit of gap on that side. Okay, let's try this nice 10 by 5 uh, Gropner that I recently purchased. These are amazing props, but you know, I'd done a balance with my previous balancer, which I'll admit was not definitely not the best setup in the world. And let's just put our rod into place. Okay, go ahead and let go. You can totally see that this Gropner is way out of balance. So that's a pretty telling sign right there that you know, I need to add weight to this side or shave down the other side. But I'd, I'd read a lot about this uh, top flight magnetic balancer and you know a lot of people recommended it to me and it's pretty amazing just seeing it in person. Like I said, it's only 20 bucks and it's probably one of the uh, better balancers that you can find for the money. There's a link in the description just to find this guy on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. But um, definitely recommend doing this. I should have done it a long time ago. Um, you know, props are definitely one of the number one sources of vibration. And here's a gym fan, nine by four, seven prop that I thought I had, you know, I was all excited because I thought I'd done a good job of balancing this, but obviously need to do a little bit of work. So now I get to go have some fun and balance some props, but I uh, hope that was useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And thanks for watching.